Hi there, plumbing fans. Today we're talking about pipe nipples, the most bizarrely named and most common of plumbing products. Anyone who's ever installed pipes before probably knows all about pipe nipples, but either way, we're gonna be talking about uses, materials, installation, and how to remove pipe nipples. First up, for those of you who don't know, a pipe nipple is simply a short piece of pipe with male threads at both ends. Generally, the purpose of this is to connect two female threaded fittings together. There are a number of different types, such as hex nipples, which have a hexagonal section so that a wrench or a plier can grip onto it, or barrel nipples, which lack this feature. Some pipe nipples lack any unthreaded area, connecting male thread right to male thread. These are called closed nipples, such as this. Here at Pax Universe, we provide a number of different materials for pipe nipples, such as dielectric, galvanized steel, brass, black iron, and chrome plated. For galvanized steel, brass, and black iron, these are generally used in applications where you're using the same material for fittings. We have other videos on this channel describing what uses you would have for these different materials, so go check those out. For chrome plated pipe nipples and their fittings, these are generally used for shower arms, pedestal sinks, and other exposed pipe systems. Finally, dielectric pipe nipples are made of galvanized steel and have a PEX insert. They're used to connect dissimilar metals for water tanks or storage units. The PEX insert allows for corrosion resistance and insulation between the components. However, for many applications, you're gonna to wanna to go one step further, especially when you're using a tapered thread such as this. Generally, you wanna use pipe dope or Teflon tape to seal the nipple to the fitting. Again, we have a great video on our channel explaining the differences between these two options, when to use them and when not to. So go check that out for more information. Basically, threaded connections can be a little bit dicey when it comes to water tightness. So if you wanna be extra safe, it's better to cover your bases and put a bit of sealant on there. Finally, if you realize you installed some fittings incorrectly or are just disassembling some plumbing, how do you get one of these things out? Obviously with hex nipples, the answer is pretty straightforward, but it might not be so obvious with something like a closed nipple. Most people's solution is to unscrew one of the fittings and take the revealed male thread and grab it with a pair of pliers or a pipe wrench and just wrench it out. While this does work, it has the unfortunate consequence of destroying the threading, which makes the pipe nipple useless, meaning it will have to be replaced. To avoid this, you can buy a special tool called a pipe nipple remover which actually grips the nipple from the inside and removes it without causing any damage. This was a short one for you guys. I hope it quenched your thirst for knowledge about pipe nipples. Leave us a comment with suggestions for future videos and hit that like and subscribe button for future content. Thanks, have a good one.